And the way you choose to answer that question will chart the course for your health, good or bad, from this day forward. And the question is this, what's your story about your health? It could be, I'm fighting off a cold, or I'm always struggling with my weight. Or it might even be something like, my doctor says I have to be a fighter if I want to survive this. I think we can come up with a better story. I resolved right then to fight that disease, and I was determined to beat it. The fight became my story. I had come to think of my arthritis as the beast, and I tried everything, looking for that silver bullet that would kill the beast. Lying there in bed, I looked up and I said to God, hey God, come on, enough is enough. Either cure me or take me. And when I was battling the beast, I was only fighting myself. And it was changing my story more than anything else that led to that healing miracle. And you can't see it in the picture, but my right arm had several deep, bloody gashes in it that were left behind by the monkey's sharp fingernails. And what that means is, when you are fighting, you're not healing. True, food, yoga, and other natural approaches can be fundamentally different from drugs and surgery, but using them to fight is the same story as using drugs and surgery to fight. Notice I didn't say painkillers. I didn't use any of those things to fight. Through all of the pain and all of the fear, I held the mindset and the heart space of healing and self-love. And I did lots of healthy stuff for years. Yet I still sunk to the depth of pain and despair where I asked God to put me out of my misery. But now, I don't worry about the inflammation or any other problem. I simply pay attention to which foods make me feel vibrant. So you know all of that energy that you're putting into fighting your health problems? In other words, fighting yourself? You can choose right now to transform that energy and send it back to yourself as love. And that was a dark night of the soul for me. Part of me fell right back into that dark world full of fear. But then I reminded myself that my new story of thriving came during the darkest days of my life when I was in so much pain that I just wanted to die. And it was that new story that pulled me from that abyss.